Welcome to Dark Theory Incorporated. It is interesting that the very thing that perceives our every interaction with this world and establishes the scientific-based evidence is such a mystery to itself. Lamau. It is true that the nature of consciousness and how it arises from the brain is a complex and unresolved problem in science. Researchers from various fields such as neuroscience, psychology, and philosophy have been trying to understand the nature of consciousness for decades, and there is still much that is not fully understood. However, it's important to note that science is a process of discovery and that new findings and theories about consciousness are continuously emerging as technology and research methods improve. Additionally, it's important to remember that the lack of a full understanding of consciousness does not mean that the scientific method is flawed, but rather, it reflects the complexity of the topic and the fact that the science is a process of continuous inquiry and discovery. It's also important to note that while consciousness is a complex topic, that doesn't mean that it's impossible to study or understand. Scientists have made significant progress in understanding the brain mechanisms involved in consciousness and much more is yet to be discovered. That is like studying the structure of something but not knowing exactly how it works. Yes. That's a good analogy. Studying the brain and understanding the neural mechanisms involved in consciousness is similar to studying the structure of a complex machine without fully understanding how it works. Scientists have made significant progress in understanding the brain mechanisms involved in consciousness, but much is still not fully understood. For example, Researchers have identified specific brain regions and networks that are active during conscious experiences, and have discovered that damage to these regions can result in changes in consciousness. However, understanding how these neural processes give rise to subjective experience, such as the feeling of seeing red or the taste of chocolate, is still an ongoing research topic and a subject of ongoing debate among scientists. It's also important to note that the study of consciousness is multidisciplinary and it involves different fields such as neuroscience, psychology, philosophy and others. Each discipline has its own approach and perspective on the topic and the integration of different perspectives can bring a more comprehensive understanding of the topic. In this sense, scientists have confidence in a theory but not faith. Scientists are always open to new evidence and are willing to change or reject a theory if new evidence contradicts it. You are speaking about the ability to evolve and you are saying that faith doesn't allow this to happen? No, that is not what I meant. In the context of science, the ability to evolve and change theories based on new evidence is an important aspect of the scientific process. Scientific theories and hypotheses are considered provisionally true and are subject to change or rejection based on new evidence. Scientists are always open to new evidence and are willing to change or reject a theory if new evidence contradicts it. Faith, on the other hand, is often defined as belief in something without evidence or evidence to the contrary. In this sense, faith can be seen as the opposite of the scientific method, as it involves accepting something as true without subjecting it to testing and experimentation. It's important to note that science and faith are not mutually exclusive and many people have faith and also believe in science. However, when it comes to understanding the natural world, science is based on evidence and logical reasoning, while faith is based on belief and personal conviction. Okay. Then we know that the quantum universe or what the finest composition of the universe is composed of is atoms and subatomic particles that have no real essence but yet we can interact as if it does. Knowing that requires some faith that what we are observing is reality, even if it is scientifically based evidence. What I mean is that even science cannot go beyond the smallest atoms to find the essence of its nature. It's true that the study of subatomic particles and the nature of matter is a complex and ongoing field of research. Scientists have discovered that subatomic particles, such as electrons and protons, do not have a definite position or velocity until they are observed or measured. This is known as the uncertainty principle and it's a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics. This behavior of subatomic particles is very different from the behavior of macroscopic objects that we observe in our everyday life, 
and it has led to the development of the quantum mechanical theory to explain this phenomenon. It's also important to note that the quantum mechanical theory is based on evidence, mathematical models, and predictions that have been repeatedly confirmed through experiments, so it's considered as a robust theory. It's true that the nature of subatomic particles and the fundamental nature of matter is not yet fully understood, and it's still a topic of ongoing research and debate among scientists. However, it doesn't require faith to accept that the quantum mechanical theory is a valid explanation of the behavior of subatomic particles, but rather it's based on evidence and logical reasoning. It's important to keep in mind that science is a process of discovery and that new findings and theories are continually emerging as technology and research methods improve. Scientists are always open to new evidence and are willing to change or reject a theory if new evidence contradicts it. You are saying that from a consciousness that we cannot find an origin of the subatomic particles that this consciousness observes requires no faith? That makes no sense because neither of them have any substantial elements to base it on scientific evidence as of yet, but only only on a theory that cannot be proven. So, there has to be some degree of faith in something that technically doesn't exist according to scientific laws and principles. Exclamation mark. Too many requests in one hour. Try again later. There was an error generating a response. Thank you for watching and I truly hope you enjoyed our conversation, if so, you can show your appreciation by hitting the like, share and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for the latest content. Remember, the truth is out there.